Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithdeli.com and today I'm going to be making three cards using the Tropical Chic um, the stamp set. Well, actually it's the bundle. Um, but um, anyway, this whole bundle is going to be retiring at the end of May. So definitely if you like this uh, bundle, definitely you want to be ordering it right away because after, I believe, June 2nd, this bundle will no longer be available. Definitely it's a cute one to have. I know I've made a lot of cards right when it was released. Hello, Susan. And so now I'm really sad to see it go because I really think that you can do a lot of backgrounds with this set. So let's see what I come up with it, right? Um, so anyway, I'm just going to give it a few seconds. Hello, everyone. Again, thank you so much for joining me if you're new to me. Um, I typically do three cars using one set. Nowadays, I'm actually trying to coordinate also the colors. I think in the past I have done a little bit different, but um, for a few months now, I would try to just focus on same color, same product, so that you can uh, have ideas of what to do with different, um, with the same set, um, with uh, and the same supply. So that's pretty much how I've been doing it. Now, before we start, just real quick, just want to make sure you know, I have my car class to go called the Magnolia Lane, which is this one, and it, it is the one that features really the Magnolia Lane design series paper. And the whole thing with this class is that you can make these cars with any uh, design series paper that you have. So it's mainly to help you have ideas of what to do with your design series paper. So if you're interested in that, you can check the link on the description uh, for the tutorial only if you want the tutorial. But also if you want the uh, make and take packet where you will get everything to make six cars, um, plus a half of a pack of this design series paper, which is also retiring, as well as the, um, what else do I include? Oh, I, as well as the ribbon pack. Um, you can get those options by um, getting the make and the make and take packet, which is until uh, Friday. So tomorrow is the last day. Oh, good. So did you like the tutorial, Susan? Now that you said that you got it, I'm so excited you had it. So um, anyway, so it. Tomorrow I'll be sending the last email to sign up for the make and take. So make sure you are on my mailing list so that you can get that. So I'm um, sorry to see you, um, Jenny Go. And anyway, you can see the replay later on. It's going to be safe here. And so anyway, so now after that Magnolia Lane cart class, which again finishes tomorrow if you want the make and take, um, then I'm releasing right away the one with the timeless tulips. And what is cool about this one, it's all about phone folds. So all of the cars have different sort of, of folds. So uh, again, this is another one that you can do with any suite. You can see it here. So definitely you want to give it a try. It's not all, and of course it has the gorgeous uh, tulips, which uh, as you know, I love doing this punching technique to have kind of like different textures with those. So definitely you want to check this one out. And again, the fun thing about that one is that you can make this with any other suite that you have. And it's all about fun folds. It's six different cars, six different fun folds. So anyway, so that's the commercial. Again, if you want more information, make sure you are on the mailing list because that's where I send all that information. And also, I don't know if I have said these also recently, but um, nowadays, every Monday, I send an email where I share with you the sketches and the links to the cars that I make. There's usually like one week gap in between, but you'll get a PDF with pretty much the links to the post, the links to the video tutorial, the links to the supplies, and also the sketches so that you can recreate those cars over and over. So <clears throat> anyway, so let's get it started. Hello, hello. Oh, Susan, yay. So let me know how, how you like that class. I'm so excited to see you making those cars on Saturday. So definitely let me know how it goes. It will be fun if you post on some pictures. Definitely would love to see that. Um, all right, so let me just get situated. You all know that I never have the cards finished. <laughs> so it's always kind of interesting to see what I was thinking when I was designing the car. So let's just, uh, just give me one second here to get a little bit situated, situated with what I was thinking and doing. So, oh, here it is. I'm like, whoa. Okay, so here's that. Okay, so where's the, 
Oh, here. I'm like, what did I do? Okay. So, like I mentioned, I feel like this set, and then, where is the set? Here. It's a great set to do backgrounds. Definitely love that about this one. Um, you can use all these images for that. And that's what I'm going to be showing you with you. Um, it used to have, uh, I think when it got released first, it used to have a design series paper that kind of had the same idea. And we don't have that design series paper, but you can recreate it with this. So definitely check that out. Um, so the colors I'm going to be using is um, the Granny Apple Green, as well as the Shaded Spruce for the leaves. I'm going to be using the um, Early Espresso for... I don't know what is this. It's not dots. They look like watermelon seeds, but I'm sure they're not. So I have no clue how they call those things, but for that image. And um, also I'm going to be using the Grapefruit Grove, which is another color that is retiring at the end of June, or I'm sorry, May. And I'm going to be also using the Terracotta Tile. So those are the things that I'm going to be using. And um, let's just get started here. I have shaded the spruce as my as my so this one is five and a half by eight and a half and as usual we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half and uh, let's just go there let's just see point to point I always a bone folder I feel like uh, that helps a lot to get a crisp night fold then I have two pieces um, of cardstock this one is the same as the grapefruit yeah grapefruit rope. I always have trouble with that name. <laughs> so this one is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And this one is Whisper White. Oh, I already have ink in my hands. I have not even started. I already have ink. How about that? And this one is five and one. Well, the greeny, what is this called? Greeny Apple Green or Granny Apple Green or with Whisper White. So we're going to play with it and see which one looks better at the very end. And I've also already... Um, have die cut three of the flowers okay hopefully this is better I don't know what was happening hopefully you're better anyway so as I was saying I am, I had already die cut three of these uh, flowers using the die the coordinated dies um, and they're really for this flower so um, again let me just show you these these are the dies that coordinate with this one and these are called the tropical thinlet so i use already that one now i'm going to be showing you how i color or how i stamp those especially for this ones um i don't know if you know like i don't know if sometimes you have the trouble where you stamp the image or even color the image and then run it through your uh die cut machine and then it's gonna crick it or don't cut it exactly where you want it. So I had some issues sometimes and whenever I'm doing multiples, I don't wanna risk it. And so I'd rather use my Stamparatus for those things. And also when I am doing multiples, this is the best way to go. That way I don't have to be running uh, like stamp one and then run it. I'd rather have everything cut and then stamp it right away. So this is how I'm gonna be doing those. So I'm gonna leave this for the end of this card let's just get it started with the background now as far as the background um you will need a piece of uh, paper use a scratch paper in this case you're going to be putting the images and you might get out so you don't want to egg your surface and again we're going to bring the uh the greens so we have the granny apple green and the shaded spruce Okay, I'm going to put this one here, and I'm going to leave this one here for a second. And I have already put everything on my... So the first one I'm going to go ahead is using this leaf, which I think this is the favorite for me. <clears throat> so I'm going to be um, putting this one like in the corners and in the center. And I'm going to be using the shaded spruce for that one. Um... Yes, I am here. Okay. The other thing that you want to kind of do is kind of rotate your stamp, right? So it kind of looks a little bit random, right? It doesn't have the same um, the same flow, if you will, right? Like it looks like 
random, kind of like the design series paper, if you will, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp. Let me think about that one. Mm, yeah, a little bit different, so like so. Thank you so much for sharing, Marilyn. I really appreciate it. And then I'm gonna be doing the same with this one. Okay, now I kind of went a little bit crazy with the inking. So let me just make sure I clean this one because I think I pushed too much. So it was, and this ink pad was too juicy. So let me just clean that just to make sure. Then I'm gonna bring this leaf and now I'm gonna be using the um, Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna close this one because I always fear that I'm gonna get that by mistake. <clears throat> and the same thing, we're gonna just be putting these leaves. And can I just add them? And just kind of change your like the flow right as you can see here now it's good to have like a little bee here picking and maybe another one right here and so you have those <clears throat> and then i'm going to bring also this other one and on that one i want a lighter color so i'm going to go ahead and step once here and kind of put them there so stamp off because I just want to fill up those gaps where I feel like I have too much white, right? And I feel like that stamp. <clears throat> there we go. And then maybe another one somewhere like so. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring the early espresso. <clears throat> Where's the early espresso here? And then we're gonna be adding those dots, that ones that look like watermelon seeds. And again, I don't know what they're called. It's just little dots. Well, it's not dots, you know, but. And then you're gonna be adding it where you still have. And again, it's just random. There's no rhyme or reason I just go and put in whatever and I love 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 how those little sits look and there we go I'm gonna leave it that way because sometimes I get carried away and then everything looks too too dark <laughs> so this is how it looks let me just put it like that without the background so you can see it kind of looks really nice don't you think i mean i love how again you can do backgrounds with these i think that has been the the best thing that i um the best thing out of this set that i love the most um and so here we go and i know i've made some other cars actually where i just punched the background um i'll probably when i do the blog post for these cards i'll probably link to those cards because those look beautifully it had also um you could also sponge the white background and then the stamp and it looks more like a designer series paper actually but anyway this one looks really cute don't you think so anyway so let's go ahead and glue down our piece oh and Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and put it like so. Let me just put it like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, thank you guys. I'm glad you're liking it. Like, I really... I think I'm going to be missing this stamp set. I think like this one's a really cute one, to be honest. So we're gonna put it like so here. There we go. So you see a little frame in green. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let you know how I'm gonna be stamping this one, okay? So I'm gonna bring the Stamparatus. 
And what I did on this one, let me just make sure you know. So what I did with that, you can see I have like a little template, if you will, right, with the uh, die cut. And um, I stamp my image uh, here. Always make sure, and I have one of those papers from the uh, Stamparatus. So this is um, also from um, for this one. And uh, I, you always make sure that it is on the corner. So once I have it there, so I put my, like, when if I were stamping, I just put this one, make sure it's in the corner, put the magnet, ink, stamp, right? And then I have it here. Once I have it there, then, um, again, just making sure it's still there in the corner, I'm going to go ahead and put my little template here. And then I know that I'm going to have exactly the right white, if you will, around that. And then at that point, then I'll just take my magnet and put it there. And then I'm ready to go. Um, then I'm going to be putting my piece, right, my the die cut, and I'm going to stamp it there. So these process make it very easy, especially when you're going to be doing a lot. And you're going to see in a minute why this makes it even better. <laughs> so what you do is, in this case, I'm going to be using, again, the Grapefruit Group which again is retiring at the end of this month and um, then i'm going to be using also terracotta tile and i'm going to be doing the same as with the tulip so this is kind of like the same tulip thing um, technique so i'm going to go ahead and stamp um this side with the uh, lighter color and then i'm going to bring a sponge and this is one of our sponges i cut it um, I cut a little piece and then I add the round tap, uh, the round tap with the same color. So it, I know exactly what color goes with that. That way I can, uh, I don't mix any colors and then I staple it. So very easy to create your, your uh, own um, sponging or, or daubers, if you will. So once I pick up the color, I'm going to just go ahead and tap, tap, tap lightly, right? And then I'm going to close it, hello join, and then you have it there. Now you can see I have a little bit of darker color somewhere and then lighter there. Okay, so let me just show you how it looks without the, so you have it here. So you've noticed it was very easy. And then of course, now one thing to know before I go on is I'm going to put the next one, right? Because I have several ones. But the very important thing here, especially when you're doing this technique, is you want to be uh, cleaning your stamp in between. And the reason is because I'm using two colors. So I have a lighter color and a darker color. So if I leave it like that, when I ink again with the lighter color, the dark color will go here. So definitely you want to make sure that you always clean in between. Now, this could go even faster if I didn't do the sponging because at that point it's just ink stamp, ink stamp, ink stamp, right? So you don't have to be cleaning in between, but because I'm doing that stamping or that sponging with the darker color, I have to be cleaning in between. So, there we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Kay. I really appreciate your sharing it. Lori, thanks. I, I, I'm sure, I'm glad you're liking it, so. And there you have it here. See? And I love that I have the right uh, white section, right? Um, and then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put this one here. Again, I have to clean it because I did use two colors on my um, image. I'm using the chamois, so very convenient. Um, again, lighter color. And this is, again, the same technique that I showed you when I did those cards for the tulips and pick up a little bit of color and then and then the other thing you got to realize is that every single flower you make or you stamp it's going to look differently all of them are going to be different which I think it's fine because no flowers are the same right oh good Angie I'm glad I'm glad that you're liking it see that so here we go and then you have, again, two colors, so it kind of gives that, I don't know, dimension or I don't know what it is. It just gives a little bit of fun on those flowers. And you're going to see on all three of these, let me just show you here together, they all look a little bit different, right? You have 
the darker, a little bit darker, everything, and then here are the little. So they all look different, but they all look really cute. So, so once we're done with that, um, you clean it and then um, you move on with the next step. <laughs> so that's um, that's all the stamping um, on the flowers. And again, I love this technique for whenever I'm going to be doing a lot of them. Um, I'll be honest, I have already done a lot of those for the other cars. So um, I wanted to share how I did that. All right, so let me just go now with, with this. So as I was saying, I don't know like whether I want this color. I want to have that sentiment that says, what is this? The thank you with love. Yeah, this one. With much love and thanks. I think that this one is a really cute one. <clears throat> Oh, hi, Diane. I'm glad you're liking it. <laughs> Thank you. You're so sweet. So, anyway, so I don't know. Like, I feel this color, right? Kind of, it kind of loses because I have those flowers in this color. So, uh, probably not that one. And then it's between this one, which, I mean, this one looks kind of cool, don't you think? And the other one is the Whisper White. So, which I don't know. I am between those. I feel like maybe this one, you know? Yeah, maybe this one. Let's just add some color. Yeah, I feel like that one would be better. So like I said, I oh, I usually try to have some colors just open. So as I was saying, um, now it's time for me to do the um, the sentiment. And I want to use, and, and here's the thing, right, guys? Like I, I was telling you, I do tend to have those kind of templates. So when I'm doing this technique of coloring with the stamp apparatus, I am ready with those templates. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and take <clears throat> the sentiment. And, all right. And then we're gonna be putting this one like right here. And I'm gonna bring the um, early espresso. I could use also the memento, but I'll be honest, my espresso, my early espresso is really juicy and I love it for for like sentiments because I feel like they I get a really dark uh, Amish. And I know I can re-ink the memento as well, but you know, the early express is already inked, so. Anyway, see how it looks? It's very crisp, sharp, so definitely like that. And of course, we're gonna be using the Taylor Tech Punch, which I mean, you know me, I love using it. So let's see, so what would I want? So do I want it like so, and then have, Oh, I can put it one here and then one there. Oh, I like that idea, you know, like, and then do the burn. Yeah, I like that idea. So let's do that. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm always playing with the, so I'm going to cut this and hopefully this is a straight line. We'll think. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope it is. Well, it's kind of. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna leave it that way because I don't have much space now to. Do... All right, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna. It's bugging me. So, Oof. hold on. Do I have that little trimmer? Yes, hold on. kind of bugging me that it's not straight to straight so let's just because i only need a little 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 there we go it's just little but it kind of bugs me there we go oh yeah much better <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and glue this one down Hello, Pinky. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this one right here. And again, I'm sorry with uh, the video. So I don't know what happened. And honestly, I'm a little bit worried about the replay on the other one because it just kicked me out of Facebook, literally. So I don't know. I'm kind of worried now. So we're going to put a dimensional on this one. I think it will be really nice if I have one here and then one there. Don't you think? Yes, and I'm going to be using dimensionals. 
There we go, one here. And one there. There we go. So um, here you have it. Like I said, I love making the background and I love having that little uh, technique on the flowers. What do you think? Do you like it? I well, hope you do. Now I have a third, a third uh, flower. I could put it here if I want it. I don't know if I do, you know, like, I don't know if I like it there. I'm just going to leave it with the two right now. I think like it looks nice with two, but you can add as many as you want, of course. Right? So this is card number one. Let me go with card number two. So for card number two, we are doing again. Um, and you can see here that I already color a lot of those flowers right and like i said you're always going to be getting different um different shapes or shades of the same right because this is sponging so i love that because they all look a little bit different and again when you're doing that many definitely it's a time saver um okay so this one i believe is the same measurement so um let me just measure this so it is shaded spruce five and a half by eight and a half we have um yes i think it's the same so it is a grapefruit grove and this is four one eighth by five and three eighths and then i have whisper white and this one is five and one quarter by four okay so now this one um okay this one is gonna go like so all right so we're gonna be folding it in half again point to point here we go and then using the bone folder. Mm -hmm. It's going to go like that. And we're going to be gluing this one like this. So this is going to, instead of horizontal, we're going to be a vertical. So again, thanks so much for sharing, Carol. Really appreciate it. Um, so now let's go again and bring the, where's my scrap paper here? Here. Let's just use this one now. So now for this one, <clears throat> I only want to do a background, but just this section, right? So I don't want it to have the whole thing, but just this section. So it's about the same technique, but this time it's only here. So you can, uh, we're going to start again with the uh, shaded spruce. I feel like I always, whenever I'm doing kind of collages, I always start with the largest or the boldest, right? And so I feel like this one is one of the largest ones and it's the darker. So I feel like I have to start with that one. And then I add the other ones to complement. So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to be putting like one. And actually, I don't like that. Well anyway it is what it is i'm not gonna get that one here there we go much better and then i'm gonna be putting one other here there we go <clears throat> then i'm gonna bring the next largest one and again i tried to go from the largest to the smallest um so now I'm going to bring this one and again, I just want like this section, right? So I'm going to make sure like I cover those things. Hmm. Let me see. How do I want to do that? I want to put some of those there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one like so. And then I'm going to be adding the smaller one because I don't want to go this one, you know, like, well, I could, but no. And then I'm going to be using the lighter one, right? So this one and same as with the other one, we're going to go ahead and stamp off and do that one. Stamp off and kind of do that. Stamp off. And... Maybe it need another one. No, I'm gonna leave it that way. And then I'm gonna be adding some dots here and there. Yes. Oh, with the early espresso. 
And again, this is that image that I don't know what the, the ease. So I'll put some here, some there, and then I'm going to be adding some here. There we go, like that. So again, it's a smaller collage in this section. <clears throat> then I'm going to go ahead and bring um, the sentiment. Now for this one, I want the other one that says thank you. Well, I have the options. You are the greatest. I think thank you. You know, like always for whenever I'm sending cards, I, I never have. Um, I never have enough thank yous, right? So it's not that one. It's, I already have this here. I'm like, whoa. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this one like so. And then I'm going to be putting this one right here. Well, before I do that, let's just think about this. So before I do that, I'm going to be putting some of these just so i know where i'm going to be adding them so here it feels like i have too much of an area so i'm going to have one here one there and this one is also going to help me fill a little bit of the blanks and yeah i feel like this looks good okay so i'm going to be putting that thank you right here let me stamp here okay yes There we go. Love it. All right. So, um, like I said, I have lots of those flowers, so I just need to put it. Yeah, I think this, um, what is this? This uh, color combo is pretty cool, right? I mean, it still makes you, like, very happy. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and add. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put it here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and, oh my goodness, it's driving me nuts here. like so so we're gonna go ahead and put it right there okay and then we're gonna be adding like I said I know I kind of have a larger area here so definitely want to put one of those there and then I'll add one here and again you can add as many or as little as you want right and then definitely put another one like right here there we go there we go oh yeah definitely like so do i want to add another one right here like i feel like this one no i don't like that one but i do like that one there so i'm gonna go ahead with this so let's just bring again dimensionals. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put it right there. My goodness, I have ink all over. All right, and then I'm gonna put another one. And notice how I'm also kind of shifting the flowers, right? I mean, they're not all going in the same direction. I think like that adds a lot more. And then I had this little piece of the grapefruit um, grape, and I was thinking of just adding like a little, and I don't know if I like that, so we'll see. Hold on, give me just one second here. 
Um, so I need my glue dots and um, let me bring again that. So I feel like I need like a three or a two. So let's just, so maybe we'll add something there. Follow that line. We'll see. I don't know if I really like it or not. So just add. Oh, I'm glad you're liking it. Thank you, Linda. So I'm going to go ahead and put it. I feel like these add something. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right. I'm going to do a little mini banner and then cut here. Yeah, let's just do a little mini banner. Of course, we're going to be using our Taylor Type Punch. This is... I'm telling you, this is my favorite punch. I think I use it in almost every single card. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed. There we go. Yeah, it looks nice with that, I feel. So, definitely, let's add. Now, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring the glue dots. I feel like that one will go. Oh, thank you, Elaine. Thank you. And you can see it's very easy, so... I mean, I try not to do very elaborated. I try to make them really quick as well. So, so I'm glad you are enjoying the cards, literally. Like, I feel like anyone watching my videos can make these cards, seriously. That's how easy this is. So, <clears throat> here you go. For those of you that just joined me, if you didn't see card number one, you have here card number one, and then this is card number two. And again, I love that you can make the backgrounds. Definitely love it. Hello, Deanne. And um, anyway, so we're going to go with card number three. And on that one, um, it's a little bit different. It's not so much of a background. So we'll see We'll see how this one turns out. Let me just clean real quick these two because I know I'm going to be using this one, especially this one. The other one, I think it's okay. But this one, I know I'm going to be... Well, no, I actually have to... So, okay. So let's just... Go with that for right now. All right, so for card number three, going with kind of the same theme, I have this one, I have these pieces. Of course, I have more of those little flowers, and I have die cut also. One of these actually i have more so we'll see if i need more than that but i feel like just with that will be okay and then i have on this one so the first thing i want to show you is a technique for those leaves which is about the same thing but i want to just show you um hold on give me one second here here we go so um what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to take the guess I'm going to be taking the leaves and kind of do the same as I did with the flowers, but now with the two tones of the greens. So I'm going to be stamping with the lighter color, right? And then again, I'm going to bring a uh, sponge. And again, it's a sponge. I cut it in a little, like a quarter, put a round tab with the staples, and then I know what color it is. So I, once I have the lighter color, I'm going to go ahead, put some ink and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the edges okay and once I have that I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it oh Sharon well and um, just FYI there was an issue I have no clue if the first part of the video is there <laughs> so anyway and you can see you have the two colors i mean don't you love how this one looks especially this one right like i love i love having the two tones definitely and then i'm going to be doing the same with this um this leaf so i'm going to go ahead and bring the um what is this, the lighter color which is the granny apple green and then this one, I put the darker color on the outside. For this one, I'm going to try to do it from the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and just do. And again, I'm trying to be. I'm just tapping. I'm not rubbing it. And just little by little. And hopefully this is enough. And then you're going to go ahead and. 
hide in. So, um, I had an issue with my Facebook Live. So, I was showing the first car, and we're almost done with that one. And then, all of a sudden, Facebook kicked me out. So, I don't know what happened with that video. So, definitely a little bit concerned. <laughs> but anyway, but this is exactly what I did with the little flowers, okay? So, the little flowers, this is how... This is how they look. So I did the grapefruit grape, grape, grapefruit grow, and then ink with the sponge as I did with this one with the terracotta tile. So you always want to have a lighter and a darker. So you can see on this one, I did the edges around this one. And again, lighter color is the granny apple green and the darker color is the shaded spruce. And then on this one, I did it differently. I did, and um, I did again, the greeny, the granny apple green, all, and then the darker was in the middle. Rather than do the edges, I did the middle, which I think it's kind of cool. So anyway, so once I did that, I of course that cut it. And actually, to be honest, I did the same technique as I showed you. Which again, I don't know if that make any sense now, but what I did, and you can see it here, is I pretty much uh, that cut all my pieces first, right? I that cut my pieces. And then did the same thing as with this one, right? Like I stamp here, put my little template. And again, you'll see, um, I think I show you this also at the beginning. Like I have templates for these. So if, if I had already that one, right, which is not the case, but I will put this one, put my magnet, put my flower and then ink it. Um, so I've already done that. And I'm so, I'm so upset just to think that I might have lost that section. So I might have to do another video just to show you that part if that didn't work. So anyway, so um, so these ones are already done. So you can see it here. I have here two of those leaves, which I show you how to make them. And again, I had my pieces already that I cut and then follow that technique as I did with these flowers. Um, okay, so once I have that, let me just clean that because I'm going to be using this stamp set, but now with the gray foot. So we're going to go ahead and... Okay, so it's still there. Good, because I'm like, oh. So it's kind of crazy. I've never had that issue with the Facebook Live. Like, it had never kicked me out, and now all of a sudden, like, boom, I'm out. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Leanne. Thank you, thank you. Glad you let me know. Uh, I feel like a little bit less stressed now. <laughs> All right, so Whisper White for my car base. This is eight and a half by five and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and um, fold it in half. <clears throat> All right, then I have a piece of the Grapefruit Grove and this one is, I believe two, yeah, two and one, two and one quarter by five and five eighths now i only need five and a half but i always i think i share this all the time but i always like having it longer so that i can cut uh, the excess because i feel like sometimes uh you might um or even myself right like i might just um glue it down a little bit cricket and then i have a little hair showing up like that and so this way i make sure everything is covered and then i cut whatever excess i have so that's why I leave it always a little bit larger. larger. <clears throat> and then I have two pieces of the shaded spruce. And then these ones are half of an inch and the same thing. It should be like five. Yeah, you see that like five and five eighths. Actually, this one is even longer. So like five and three quarters. You only need, what I'm going to be doing is doing like so. So you only need to have enough for that. So anyway, I have already die cut. Um one of the circles out of the stitch frame lids and this one is from the largest to the smallest the second one and um, i have also a piece of the granny apple green and this one is about what like three inches yeah well a little bit less like two inches by seven eighths and it doesn't matter because we're going to be cutting it but anyway i think that if you have a piece of three it's fine and it is three quarters and like i show you i have two leaves one on this shape i have also die cut this one out of um, again using those dies and again you have the dies here so you die cut those and then i have lots of these flowers which i think i'm going to be using three so i have more than the three so um the way i picture this one 
it's having having like something like so right just to give you the visual as to how i how i do these things just to see if i like it then i'm gonna have here this circle <clears throat> definitely the sentiment here and then let's just play it with how the positioning of everything will go right like something like so and again i don't know if i well maybe i just need the one i don't know and then maybe have like two of these flowers so maybe i only need one and one so who knows maybe i need like i said i always kind of play with it and then see how many i want i could go ahead and put another one i don't know if i like it well it actually looks nice too so maybe i do need did need the two so we'll see anyway so for this one i'm gonna go ahead and by the way i can uh, i think i'll share this all the time but i always go to pinterest and like scroll for like i don't know 10 minutes and then see whatever i liked and then i go from there and i get ideas from there some of them um i like the color some of them are i like the layout so i kind of play with it and and go from there this one i think is almost identical to what i saw in pinterest i might change a little bit of the layout but i think it was almost um almost um identical and see i hate doing this because this is going to get stained on this one so i have to clean that section real quick because yeah that's why i use my paper so that i don't have that and um so anyway so sometimes i change things sometimes i kind of leave it the way they were because they look gorgeous and i didn't want to modify much of that right so it all depends we all case it there we go there we go so i like that just gives i don't know Gives a little bit more there. So then I'm gonna be gluing here my um, my strips. Now um, there we go, and we're gonna be doing the same thing here with this one. All right, then I'm gonna bring my scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the X's. There we go. We're gonna bring the card and here we go. Yes, I mean, by all means make you can case any of the cards you know this is why i love sharing it i and i also love to see what you do you know so if you make a card um from watching any of my videos always tag me i always like see how i went a little bit cricket right see that it was a little bit here and less there right if i had had exactly the same length i would have had that here that's why i always 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 like to have see how i am cricket oh here you can see here i'm kind of cricket there so this is why i like making it larger lar larger because i know i know i will have those those sections not fully cover and it really bugs me so i rather just cut the excess and you can see it here i was cricket which for the overall car i don't care that it's cricket because i don't think people really notice too much you know um so i'm fine but i do i don't like when i have those like white line sections here right? like you didn't cover everything so now we're gonna have this one here let's go ahead and stamp the thank you i think i like to have the thank you on this one so let's just put here the thank you here early express over that one you know what let me just take this one um hold on how did it go just need to make sure 
what am I centering this? Oh, there you go. Yeah. So it's that line. I'm like, what am I centering here? Okay. So like so. Oh, there we go. And we're going to be putting this one like so. So I want a little, of course, we're going to be using that Taylor Tech punch. You know it. Um, what do I do with it? Oh, here. You know it. I, like, I use it like every single time. So. Like that. So this one will go here. So let me just glue this one down already because I know. I'm going to put this one like right here. Oh, you know what? Mm, well, too late. I could have put some of those dots, right? Like these little dots, right? Anyway, it's too late at this point, I think. Well, who knows? Maybe I can still put it. Well, let's just do that. If I don't like it, then I glue another piece of... Um, what is this? So I'm going to just put like one of these. Just one. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We're going to put this one here. There we go. And then we're going to be doing our collage. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think it will be fine. It will be fine. All right, so we're going to be putting this one like right here. And then we're going to be adding this one. And again, we're just going to play first with how I want it. Um, I feel like this one needs to go more like so. And then this one here. And then maybe I do like this one right here. I need to probably put this one underneath. And then this one like right here. Hmm. We'll see. This one right there. Maybe it's way too many. Maybe I don't need the one, you know? Maybe I just need one, not two. Yes, I think that maybe the one is fine. Because I should have put this one more towards this part, but it's fine. It will be fine. So we're going to be putting one here and then one there. Yes, definitely I like that. Okay, so we're going to go with this positioning. So, this one will go with dimensionals. Oh, thank you. Um, Like, well, I mean, I'll be very, very honest, right? Like, I don't have the cards. And like I said, I saw the card on Pinterest <laughs> or something similar to this. And then I'm going off of my, whatever my memory got. So sometimes it's not fully what I saw. Sometimes it is, depending on how much I remember. And then, of course, I start playing with what I what I like, what I don't like, and, and go from there. So, which I honestly think that that's how we all end up kind of creating cars, seriously, in all honesty. I'm going to put it like that. And this one is going to go floating, right? Then this one is going to go like so, right? So we're going to go ahead and add adhesive on this one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put it like so. And then this one, like right here, right? Is that how we thought? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and add adhesive there there we go and then we're going to be adding like one here well let's put this one first because i want to have i want to make sure i have covered this section but i don't want to cover those words and then like one other here oh yes yeah, definitely hmm definitely Definitely, definitely, definitely. There we go. I could even put another flower here, you know? Ooh. Do I like another flower? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I do. 
I think I do. So I'm going to go ahead and put another flower. Just brings that. And again, you can put as many as you want. <laughs> um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and put it like right there. So this is card number three. So you can see very simple, right? Um, let me just put this ones here. So let me bring card one and card two so that you can see them. And again, if you like this stamp set and you don't have it or this bundle, because you definitely want to be able to die cut the pieces. Uh, but if you want that stamp set, make sure you place an order right away with that one because it is retiring. And so uh, definitely you want to make sure you have it. I love making backgrounds. So you can see here a full background with that set. Then you have here a little bit of strip. And then on this one is more of a collage thing. You can see there's still a lot of um, background with the set. Definitely really nice. I think that they all kind of go really well. Um, I don't know which one is my favorite. I think I like them all. <laughs> I'll be honest. But um, I'll be interested to know which one is your favorite. So you love them all too? Uh, gracias, Gertita. So yeah, just um, check which ones you like the most. Again, tomorrow, let me just make sure you'll, if you didn't see that part from the beginning, uh, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the Magnolia Lane class, which is this one. And don't uh, don't forget to make sure you are on my mailing list because that's where I'm going to be sharing the information about that card class. If you want the make and take packet, make sure you uh, go through the links on the email. If you want just the tutorials, you can look at them on my uh, description of this video. I believe they're still there. Um, and it's a download downloadable PDF with all the video tutorials and everything you need to make those cards. And again, I think that that class is great for any design series paper. I know you'll have lots of design series paper, so definitely that will be great to take. And so anyway, oh, and also I'll be sending these cards also on my mailing. Again, like I mentioned, every Monday I send an email with instructions, um, links to the tutorials, as well as the sketches. So if you're interested on that, make sure you, you, um, you are on that. Uh, email list. So anyway, thank you so much. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, Teresa, you love them all. Yeah, me too. I'll be honest. Sometimes I have a, a favorite ones, but in this case, I love them all. I think that they are all gorgeous. <laughs> oh, of course, I made them right. But anyway, <laughs> um, okay, Kathy, you like the middle one. So this is your favorite. Yeah, I mean, like I said, all of them. Three is your favorite. So for Susan, oh, Susan, you like that one. Okay. All right, well, yeah, yeah, so I see that lots of you like the middle one, uh, some of you, the third one, okay, okay, love them all, okay, okay, third one, so it seems like this one is the favorite, okay, we'll see, so anyway, thank you so much for joining me, again, I'll see you next week, again, same time, 7 p.m., and I really appreciate you all being here with me in your afternoon, so thank you, thank you, I'll see you soon, and if you have any questions, please make sure to uh, put them on the comments. I'll, I'll make sure I answer any questions you might have, okay? Thank you. Have a good night, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.